Festival is underway. This is Hollowell from the three yard line. He's got an alley. Good return to the 25 yard line. So Bobby Pesavento took over following the injury to starter Craig Oaks. And he has been Mr. Reliable. That's why he's maintained the job. And since he took over, he simply has not made the big mistake for Coach Barnett. In fact, his passing efficiency led the Big 12 this year. A senior quarterback about to take the first snap of his final game. You get in behind that awesome offensive line. They'll set down in the eye. They'll start the upperclassman Johnson. On a slash to the 34-yard line. And here are the Tostitos starting lineups. Now, we mentioned Cortland Johnson in there, purifying Brown. They're going to also play behind the great offensive line. This is the force. Number 65, Andre Girard, as good a guard as there is in the country, an All-American this year. But this entire offensive line needs to be celebrated. They are missing Daniel Graham. He will sit out the start of this game. He was late for a team function. And Tessa Vento completes his first pass out of bounds to Derek McCoy, number 80, working against this Oregon defense. Now, they must disrupt the force. They must just cause that offensive line some problems. Nebraska and Texas couldn't very often. Then bring them on. The three linebackers lead the Ducks in tackles. 75% of the time, Bowman 17 and Smith 6 will be on islands. They'll go man-to-man. -man. That will allow defensive coordinator Nick Aliotti to put eight or nine men in the box to try and stop the run game. But Pesavento stood tall with his first pass. They come back with the running game and nothing much doing, and they were able to disrupt at that time as Steve Smith, the corner, comes up hard for the Ducks. And Daniel Graham was back in the football game on that two tight end look for Colorado. How about Colorado, Brent? They take the ball to start the game, even though Daniel Graham, their best blocking and All-American tight end, isn't even on the field. That's how confident they are in their offense. Short suspension. That's the best though. In trouble. Incomplete and a very good defensive look by the Ducks. You could see Daryl Wright, the defensive end out of Fort Pierce, Florida. He put the pressure on. He was in on top of Pesavento. In fact, Pesavento went down on the seat of his pants early in this game. And here's a passing situation. And wouldn't the Ducks lead, love to keep Colorado in third and nine all game long? Johnson, the tailback is an excellent receiver. Keep that in mind. It is third down. As Savino second pass pressure again. Battle incomplete. And that time it was a strong defensive effort by Gary McGraw who is starting at safety ahead of Lewis. He also is out for disciplinary reasons, but Keith Lewis, the starting free safety, normally expected to be in the game quickly. And great pressure again on Pesavento. The Ducks got in his face and forced Pesavento to throw the ball before he wanted to. Well, Colorado marches to midfield. One first down, then they stymie. And now Keenan Howry will attempt to give them field position here against Mark Mariscal. Has to reach down. On into the end zone, and it'll come on the 20 yard line. So we have a flag on the punt, 49 yard punt, we are told. So the flag has been picked up, and it will be Oregon's ball coming out from their own 20 yard line. <laughs> You can dunk, but you can't dip. Your dip is gone, baby. What are you talking about? No dip. Introducing new Tostito Scoops. Let me tell you something, Bill. I put the hip in shit. Watch this. With the bite-sized, bowl-shaped design for the perfect dip every time. New Tostito Scoops. Whoa. The dip lover's chip. <laughs> this is my house. Yes, it is. No, this is my house. You guys got to go. <laughs> also great with new Queso Supreme Dip. For something this big, you have to keep them focused. Where's your head at? 
large capacity with wrinkle guard. That boy. It's the best time to get 0% financing on home appliances and free delivery on washers and dryers over $3.99. At the only store with the top six brands. Sears, proud sponsor of the BCS and the Sears National Champion Football Trophy. Capital One's No Hassle Card. Plus, get the nation's lowest long-term fixed rates and no telemarketing. What's in your wallet? The NFL regular season wraps up on Monday. The champion Ravens are desperate to make the playoffs. The Vikings aim to put that champ down for the count. Monday Night Football at 9 Eastern. Joey Harrington, a homegrown hero from Portland, Oregon, and one of the finest quarterbacks in the country known as captain comeback 10 times in the fourth quarter he's brought the ducks from behind 24 and 3 as a starting quarterback for Oregon play fake got time goes for the home run on first down out of bounds incomplete his fastest wide receiver Sammy Parker the intended target that time as we take a look at these skill players they'll use both of these running backs Morris, he can get you to the outside. Smith more of a cut runner once he gets into the hole. Now this offensive line, they don't get the notoriety of Colorado, but they allowed only 11 sacks this year. They're quick, they're athletic. We watch them in practice set up screen passes. They get outside very well. We'll see how they hold up here today. Second down. The running play behind that offensive line. And Maurice Morris, the senior out of South Carolina, against this defensive front, which allowed only 3.8 yards a rush. And Morris got more than that that time. Averaging 16 tackles a game, the three linebackers, Tuff Johnson and Walrus are there. Michael Lewis, he led this team attack. The only even minor controversy we had was when Joy Harrington looked at the tape and said, I don't see a star. He meant it as a compliment that they all play well. Lewis didn't take it that way. He said, I'll see him when the game starts. And number 31 is back at safety. There is Harrington's first completion, and it is a first down to the 31-yard line. The savvy and the experience. He goes to a tight end. Reitster, they knew just what they needed to move the chain. Colorado came with a blitz here and a, and a quick throw from Joey. Three-step drop. Little option route on the hot from the weak side, and actually the defender Robinson threw him for a first down. He had him tackled short if he'd have brought down Webster with the first hit. You can just see the experience of Harrington as he crouches down behind center and off the blitz. He looked right back over at Parker for the incompletion and now it's time for the clear Nicoderm game solution both theory. of these teams want to do the same thing Brent if they have the ball they want to keep the ball have it keep it. they want to stay balanced a little more of a slant towards the pass with Oregon more obviously run with Colorado but neither team can stop running the ball throughout this whole game especially Oregon they must stay balanced and run the ball second down and ten he rolls the pocket hard to the right, deflected in the complete. And the man who deflected at that time was Joey Johnson, the Hawk linebacker, getting over. And, uh, you know, we talked to Joey Harrington about the first series. He approaches it somewhat differently. Listen to it. When I come out that first series, I'm, I'm finding, out, uh, finding out about myself. I'm getting settled. I'm getting comfortable in my rhythm so that I can perform for the rest of the day. 
Well, he moved that pocket hard to the right that time, and he throws well on the move. We watched that in practice. He'll throw back against the grain. He's very effective. Uh, a la one Joe Montana, you might remember that, that Joe featured a lot with San Francisco. Third down and ten now. Steps to the right. Receiver's covered. Going to throw incomplete. But he prevented the sack that time. Oregon is forced to punt. And I think Colorado only came with three people that time. And Bannon gets in there and puts pressure on Joey Harrington. The half roll. The reason this Oregon team has led the Pac-10 in the least amount of sacks the last three years is because the ability to move the pocket. Right, left, drop back, three steps, five steps. That's what the quarterback is required to do. There is the nation's leading punt returner. Roman Hollowell. You'll see if he can give the Buffaloes some field position. Arroyo is punting out a strong one. Hollowell on the big hop. Eludes the first man. He's quick. Dives to the 35-yard line where Pesavento and the Buffaloes will put it in play when we come back at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. We are scoreless. How much can you tap into with an AT&T broadband connection? Try over a hundred channels of entertainment. All the phone lines a house could want. And oh yeah, internet that flows by the gallon. Hope you're thirsty. Most people don't realize the, the, the toll that anchoring the show takes on the human body. You know, these guys really can't afford to miss a show. So they're always pressuring me to give them a, a boost. All right, do you want Fred or Barney? I'll take both. Give me some Dino, too. Come on. All right, all right. All right. Well, it can be pretty ugly. This is your esophagus. This is your ballpoint pen. This is the ninth time. Most of these guys have maybe 20, 30 good years. 40 tops. You got to keep the pen away from your mouth. What are we doing I, here? I know. The Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. This ABC Sports exclusive brought to you by Tostitos Scoops, the dip lover's chip. Dig in. Sears. Only Sears has the brands you want at the prices you need. Sears, where else? AT&T Long Distance. Nothing else has the power of your voice. And Dodge. You can take life as it comes or you can grab life by the horns. Dodge. Gary Barnett does not tip his hand early. He kept his offensive package over on the sideline, and then he sends out Bobby Purify as his tailback. So number 42 comes in as tailback in this sequence. Purify cuts back to the hole and muscles his way to the 42-yard line. Now, Gary, let me ask you about the cat and mouse game. We have the defensive coordinator for Oregon upstairs, Ali Ode, and Watson, the offensive coordinator for Colorado, also upstairs. Sean Watson, it has to be patient with the run game. He showed it the last two times against Nebraska and Texas. Nick Aliota doesn't want that cutback play, that play that just purified, just ran. That's what he thinks is the key of the running game, those running backs cutting back downhill. So they have stressed all week in practice. Keep the gaps filled. Here is a delay with Purify trying to get to the corner. Can he get it? He cannot. He is stopped by Wesley Mallard. You talk about a great name for a duck. How about Mallard, number 18, a senior walk-on from Columbus, Georgia, and one of the ringleaders of the defense. Well, their linebackers are tacklers. The guys up front, kind of no-name guys up front, just try to make piles up front. The linebackers in their form and their rover, Wheeler, Webster, excuse me, are the guys that are going to make the tackles in this. Now Johnson checks back in. He's the best receiver of the Colorado tailbacks. Hollowell turns around in his motion and 
Pesavento looks short to Graham. And he's got it for the first down at the 46-yard line. It's like the same play that Oregon ran for a first down. You get the big body tight end and you match him up against a strong safety or a linebacker. You go past the first down marker and it's almost like throwing the ball in basketball into the post. Just make yourself big, throw it at his stomach, easy first down. Purify checks back in at that deep tailback spot. Play fake. Pesavento buying some time and beautiful coverage that time by Keith Lewis who did not stay on the sideline long either. So both Graham and Lewis uh, penalized from being late. Bootleg pass coming around. You can see Lewis right there. He's almost beating him to his spot. When you've got four weeks to get ready for a game, Nick Aliotto says, I know what you guys are doing. I don't know if we can stop you, but we know what you're doing. And Lewis was ready. Aliotti, once an assistant coach with the St. Louis Rams, then went to UCLA and moved up to work with his closest friend, Coach Pilati, and is now the defensive coordinator. Pesavetto hands off and purify for maybe a yard. This will be third and long. And again, we cannot stress how important it is for Oregon's defense to keep Colorado in third and long. Watch the All-American, Andre Girard, right here. That's the mismatch. That guy is basically an NFL player just getting a pancake block. But those linebackers are meeting it downhill. They're forcing that running back to dodge, move. They're not hitting at full speed like we've seen the last couple games for Colorado. Now here comes Cortland Johnson, the receiver back in. So Purify and Johnson continue to substitute. Third down for Pesavento. He's blitzed. They wanted Johnson a great catch on the screen. Johnson breaks free. One man to go, and he trips. He could have cut toward the sideline and hoped that the interference would knock out that last man. But instead, he cut back. It is a 33-yard gain, a great call against pressure. What a play by Pesavento. The middle linebacker is going to drop out, and his splits is coming from the backside. It's actually a zone blitz. Watch Pesavento get rid of this ball at the last second, throw it to his spot, and you're right, Brent. I thought it was touchdown. I thought you were going to go touchdown like you usually do, but he <laughs> cut back the wrong way. First down inside the red zone for the first time. Here's Chris Brown on the field, his first carry. Remember now, Brown has rushed for nine touchdowns in his last two games. This program reminded that coming up next on our New Year's Day triple header, primetime showdown of the Big Easy. Big Ten champ Illinois will take on the SEC champ LSU in the Nokia Sugar Bowl. That's always a great show. Gary and I were down there the last few years. We always enjoy the Big Easy and the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Here is the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl with a couple of teams well, the winner is going to come out of here with bragging rights and pulls hard from Nebraska. Here's Brown on a cutback. He muscles his way inside the 10. And there's the strength of this running game before Smith can bring him down. And now we are suddenly seeing that power take charge here on Colorado's second series of the game. Watch Gerard again. This is the play. Down, down, 65, kick out. Watch this one again. Basic play. One of about four or five plays. Boom. And Drum does a great job, also the fullback. You follow Drum, you follow number 65, I think you'll see an offense that's almost a mismatch for any college football team. First down and goal, inside the 10-yard line. Brown battling for the end zone, is stopped at the three-yard line, and we check in with Jack Aroot, Jack. So now, Brent, we've seen all three of the running backs for the Colorado Buffaloes in all three of their four days. As you said, Cortland Johnson, the best in passing situations. And then, of course, Bobby Purify out in the wide open territory. And I asked Sean Watson, well, what about Chris Brown? He says, you'll see him in the red zone. He's the toughest when we need to make the most important yards. Brown, the Northwestern transfer from Naperville, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. Buffaloes in that power to the one-yard line, and it will be third and goal with Lewis. Free safety, stopping him shy of the end zone, and the field judge has to uh, break up a wide receiver downfield. Matt Brunson had gone down there to tangle up with one of the D-backs. 
One of the unique things of college football occasionally is teams will flop their line. Colorado is one of those teams. The strong side goes with the tight end. Gerard and Rodgers will go with Graham on every play. Can anybody stop him on third and goal? Touchdown, the fullback, number 33, Brandon Drum. The junior from Anchorage, Alaska, powers into the end zone for the first score of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, and the Buffaloes jump ahead. Now, Pat Bro has replaced Jeremy Flores as the kicker. Flores is also being penalized, and he did not start this game, like Graham. So, Brome adds the extra point, and Colorado leads it 7-0. But it was set up on this screen pass. Watch the one-handed grab by Cortland Johnson. We told you of the running backs, he was the best receiver of the trio. He certainly showed you why. And from there, the Buffaloes pound it in behind the offensive line. They go to the fullback from Alaska. Timeout. For his first attempt, a 360 Tomahawk. Introducing new Tostito Scoops. Amazing. And now the alley-oop reverse. With the bite-sized, bowl-shaped design. Oh, my. And what everyone's been waiting for, the two-handed thunder. For the perfect dip every time. Oh, the judges have to be impressed. New Tostito Scoops. The dip lover's chip. <laughs> also great with new Queso Supreme Dip. Discover card. Discover will make a donation to America's relief efforts until we reach our goal of $5 million. Just by doing what you do every day, you can help the victims and families of September 11th. To find out more, call 1-800-DISCOVER or go to discovercard.com. The Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. The first touchdown of Drum's career, but folks, it should have been his second. Let me take you back to the Fresno State loss. Don't watch the football. Look off to the right. Look down at the pylon. That was Drum. He'd have been wide open. Instead, Colorado lost to Fresno State. And Drum could have walked in for that touchdown. His parents, I had a conversation with him yesterday, they fly down from Alaska to the lower 48. They leave a motor home in the great Pacific Northwest, and they drive to the young man's games. And, of course, the young man says, I'm not the best athlete, though, out of Alaska. That's those mushers up there. So he likes to kid himself. He's a fine young man. Here's the kickoff now by Colorado. It'll be fielded back near the goal by Alan Amundsen. And he's whacked at the 20-yard line. Amundsen's the fastest player, fastest of all the tailbacks for Oregon, but you can see the Colorado strength so far is the difference. Oregon must stay with their game plan. Jeff Tedford, their future coach of Cal, and the offensive coordinator coaching his last game here for Oregon, must stick with the run game and stay balanced. So Joy Harrington, number three. Brings the offense out, and Ontario Smith, the transfer from Tennessee, checks in as his running back. You get the first call. 
cuts back in that hole, slashes. To about the 23-yard line, Justin Bannon makes the stop. Well, aerial coverage of today's game is provided by Tostitos. As you look down here at Sun Devil Stadium on an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. You could not ask for better football weather than what we've had, not only today, but for the uh, Colorado and Oregon players as they prepared for this game. The, the weather for the practices was just ideal also. And such a well-organized bowl game. Second down now for Harrington. Short drop, fires slant, caught, first down. Parker breaks free, he's the fastest man. Colorado's got to close. They do, but he crosses midfield that time. Sean Tufts, an inside linebacker out of Inglewood, Colorado gets back, but it's a 32-yard game. Boy, bad angle from the corner that time. Just a simple slant pass. Watch the corner technique here. When you take a bad angle, I think it's Sneed. Look at that bad angle right there. That is a short play that turns into a big play. And boy, oh boy, Colorado lucky she doesn't take it to the house with that speed. Sean Tuff shows you great speed. And uh, Coach Barnett and the rest of his staff are very high on that sophomore. They say he's got a fine, fine future in the 47. Watch play it. Fake and back to work goes Harry. That incomplete. Uh, he overshoots his running back that time. Ontario Smith coming out. Let's take a look at what these two teams want to do if they have their way calling plays. There's three tailbacks, right, that we've seen. They want to run power, power, power with those three tailbacks, Colorado, and then mix in a little bit of the pass. Oregon, when they run the ball, do it a little differently, a little bit of a finesse running game, and that sets up the pocket and play action game like the matchup he had right there. He just overthrew the ball. Jason Willis and Keith Allen check into the game. I happen to watch young Allen during the pregame warm-up. Freshman from Torrance, California. He made some nifty catches. I'm sure the coaches observed that. Second down now. Harrington straight back. Fires complete. First down to the 25-yard line and there's Jason Willis, the junior from Los Angeles. Great read this time from Joey Harrington. Colorado goes with a zone look. look watch to the inside, drop back for Joey. He's got his eyes on the left side. A push off from the corner, lets the linebacker clear and delivers it just as the receiver comes into the open territory. You want to get those receivers as they enter the hole, not after they're already in the hole, and Joey does it so well. The last time he was on this field, Joey Harrington threw for six touchdowns against Arizona State. He's now at the 25-yard line, looking against Colorado, has good time, and dumps it off, and it is dropped. At the 20-yard line by Willis. And uh, Jack Aru, we had a couple players shaking up there. Brent, you know how important it is that this offensive line stay healthy for the Colorado Buffaloes. First, it was Andre Girard came off. They thought he had a knee problem. It was just a faulty brace. Once he got rid of that, he was fine. Then Justin Bates, they had to check his knee as well. He is okay. They're not going to keep either of these players out of this game. They're both, according to the trainers, perfectly all right. I was already the yell fumble until you reached back there. <laughs> Good grab, Jack. It takes a microphone to talk to us. Okay. Second down and 10. And Smith is tripped up on a beautiful play by Moore. The free safety from Los Angeles came up and tripped him up. He had one of the three interceptions against Chris Sims in the Big 12 championship game. Well, Lewis was coming off the slot on one side, and it looked like Oregon had the right play call going the opposite way. Watch Lewis come right here this way, and the run is the opposite way. So the play call was right, but Moore comes right in there and just takes on the blocker and some reads the run. Wonderful play. Third and long. Lewis has to keep an eye on Peel. You saw from behind the tight end. He's a good one. This is third down now for the Ducks. Joey fires. Got it. Touchdown, Keenan Howry, the junior wide receiver who makes one big play after another. Let the fireworks begin. What a wonderful pass route. A little shake to the outside. Watch him come down on Lewis. Shake to the outside, then cut right upfield. Lewis, a safety, bites on the out route, and look at that throw, Brent. It's like handing the ball off on third and 13. Boy, is that nice. Sigal ties it up. Good. 
so we've still got 348 to go and look what's happening Aure, a big play receiver for Joey Harrington he had plenty of time no pressure that beautiful pattern gets in deep on Robinson touchdown He can handle it. Mary, she was great in her time. She's good for a little girl. It's the best time to get 0% financing on home appliances and free delivery on refrigerators over $3.99 at the only store with the top six brands. Sears, proud sponsor of the BCS and the Sears National Champion Football Trophy. The event that changed history is now changing the way you watch movies. Pearl Harbor. Only on DVD can you experience the sights, the sounds, and the emotions of the day that defined a nation. The American people will win absolute victory. If you buy one DVD this year, own the movie critics hail as a DVD you must own. Pearl Harbor. Own it today on DVD. After the BCS, there's one more trophy up for grabs. The 29th Annual American Music Awards. It's the National Championship of Music. Wednesday, January 9th on EBC. Well, this was the scene Friday night at the uh, Festival Luau at Makato's Island. Coaches and players from both teams got together for some food and games. And uh, at the gaming table, um, Joey Harrington turned it over. <laughs> oh, my. But he didn't turn it over. Just a couple of moments ago, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here he is, Joey Harrington. You know, not everyone gets the gaze at his own likeness 100 feet high on a Manhattan skyscraper, but Joey Harrington certainly did. He went out incognito to look at that sign in New York, which was paid for by boosters, cost him some $250,000. And a walker uh, on a Manhattan street recognized him, and he said, that's you on the side of the building. Joey said, yes, it is. I said, cool, and walked away. A typical New Yorker. Here's the kickoff now with our Tostitos Fiesta Bowl tied at seven. Here's Hollowell. Hollowell to the 29-yard line. Let's check in with Jack Aru. Jack? Brennan, 5'10", 212 pounds. This man, Keenan Howery, admits that he has average size hands. But he has said that my success is not according to my hands. He says that it's in his eyes. He says it's all about focusing the ball, looking at it all the way until it goes into his hands. Now, if you do that, Gary, you've got to have a pretty good target to throw at if you're Joey Harrington. Yeah, and, and if you got a guy that can throw it to you like that, too, you can watch it go right into your hands, too. Purify will open it running back for Colorado. Play fake, Pesavento, and McCoy is interfered with. Two penalty flags are thrown. Field judge, line judge, pick it up immediately as McCoy was stumbling. Good play by Bowman that time. That would have been a touchdown had he not grabbed. As we listen for the call, McCoy, he did a hitch and go about 10 yards down, and that was a touchdown. Great call. Pass interference on the defense, 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic first down. Watch McCoy come down about 10 yards, hitch, look back, and go. And if he's not grabbed, a good play by the senior Bowman because that would have been six points. First 
45. So the ball spotted at the 45 yard line of Colorado. Just when you load up to stop the run, that's what you get. That's what a good coordinator does. Now on first down. They'll come back with Purify. He cuts back, and Oregon, they stayed right in those slots. Garrett Graham makes the stop. We're at Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. And we are tied at seven at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. We've had action in the first quarter. A one-handed grab by Johnson for the Buffaloes. Set up the drum touchdown. Then it was Harrington driving the Ducks for the tire. Howery gets open. And we are deadlocked at seven. Just inside of three minutes here in the opening quarter. Fake. Pesavento waiting. Going deep down the middle. And uh, battle for it. Incomplete at the five-yard line. Cormier, the intended target. Steve Smith and Bowman were both back deep. Double post. Inside receiver goes post. Outside receiver Cormier goes post right behind him. And Pesavento was a little late throwing that ball and threw it way too high. It was a pop-up. Everybody had a chance for this one. Good defense by Smith, though, keeping his hand in there and not getting another pass interference like his partner did the play before. Third and long, though, now. You don't run the ball on second down. Third and long. So another third and long, but remember they bailed themselves out once on the screen to Johnson. This time they're going to run. Nothing doing. The Ducks were ready. Igor Olshansky, the redshirt freshman from San Francisco, makes the stop for the Ducks. A little bit of a new play that time for Colorado. One they probably put in during the four-week layoff. But the lead counter play, almost a sweet play to the outside. Oregon's quickness up front is giving Colorado's offensive line some problems. Mariskell on the field to punt. And Keenan Aury, who scored the touchdown, standing at the Oregon 14-yard line, ready to return. Aury <laughs> slips the first man, but not the second and third. Down at the 15-yard line. Well, tomorrow our bowl fest continues as Florida will take on the ACC Conference champions Maryland in the FedEx Orange Bowl. Coverage begins live at 8 Eastern. There's a story coming out of Florida and that quarterback Rex Grossman will not start the game. He was apparently late for curfew several days ago. Turned himself in, we are told. So in all likelihood, Brock Berlin will start. And what a story that is. Because everybody says in Florida that Brock Berlin is going to transfer to Miami. But he gets a start apparently for the Gators. There is that flanker screen trying to stun Colorado on that far side of the field. Roderick Sneed and Michael Lewis are there. Oregon has not yet got the ball to Justin Peel, their outstanding tight end. That'll be another fine later in this game. Number 84, good receiver. He's caught 29 passes this year, 18 of them for touchdowns or first downs. He's a playmaker. Second down and four for the Ducks. Slipped on the cutback, and this will be third and a couple. Morris, the ball carrier that time for the Ducks. Well, when you look at the total yards, it's almost as even as the scoreboard. 99 yards for Oregon, 90 for Colorado, and deadlocked at seven. So, Coach Pilate, who has done one of the grand coaching jobs in the country, as has his counterpart across the way, Gary Barnett. And Colorado with the record showing that they improved more than any team in college football this year. Only three down linemen this time for the Buffaloes. Joey has time and has to throw it away as his receivers were well covered. And the Ducks now are forced to punt. It's that three down lineman package that was successfully used against Texas and Chris Sims. Three men rushing. 
but still able to get a little pressure on Joey Harrington as he lets his ball go. Well, he's very fortunate that that wasn't called roughing the quarterback by breaking this there. He comes up and warns him and says, you do that again, I'm going to call the flag on him. Royale. Here's Hollowell. Looking for daylight. And he's into Oregon territory. So Pesavino and the Buffaloes will be playing with a short field, good field position coming up here in the closing seconds of the first quarter. Let's see if Colorado doesn't come back with Chris Brown now and try to establish that power downhill running game. Brown has been the guy that can really deliver the blow from that tailback position. He's lined up behind Drum. The hand to Chris. Brown muscles his way yep. across the 40-yard line. And this is what Colorado wants to be sitting in. Second and short. And now they can go to work. Oregon had been stopping them on first down regularly. So we come to the end of the first quarter. And our presentation of the Testitos Fiesta Bowl will return after this message and the word from our ABC station. Hi, my car's out front. We'll get started right away. Five star. An easier way to sell and service cars and trucks. You're all set. Great job, guys. Let's run that drill again. Five Star. Certified training so rigorous, only the best make the cut. It's better. We'll prove it. Only where you see these signs. Chili's Party Platters. The great taste of chilies, only more of it. A Beautiful Mind, nominated for six Golden Globes, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor. Four stars, a triumph for director Ron Howard. A Beautiful Mind, rated PG-13, opens Friday everywhere. like stopping? Neither does your Pontiac dealer. Because now through January 2nd, get 0% APR financing on all new Pontiac models. Plus $500 holiday bonus on select models. Or apply the bonus and lease a 2002 Grand Am for as low as $226 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for lease details. Hurry, because zero APR ends January 2nd. Keep America rolling. See your Bay Area Pontiac dealer. Hey, Boitano, LT, check it out. A dollar. So what can you get for a buck these days? A phone call? Your autograph? Whoa, guys, wait. For just 99 cents, you can get great food. Like my new Big Cheeseburger. A big patty with two kinds of melting cheese for just 99 cents. Sal cow. Good Guys offers the new Mitsubishi widescreen HDTV and pay absolutely nothing till 2003. Maybe Joe Montana can finally retire. In stock at all Good Guys locations. Dan Ashley, Jessica Aguirre, ABC 7 News. You're watching the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl on ABC. Happy New Year, everybody, with Gary Danielson. I'm Brett Musburger. Nice to be with you from Tempe, Arizona. Gary, I thought the Colorado got out of the game Absolutely. plan that they used earlier Absolutely. against Nebraska and Texas. Um, Oregon's given them a lot of eight and sometimes nine-man fronts. I, I think they're trying to open the game up a little bit. I'm not surprised they've gone back to Chris Brown, though. They want to establish that inside run game. Yeah, and Brown is averaging five yards a carry as we open the second quarter. And number 22, the big man, Against both the Cornhuskers and the Longhorns on that cutback. And 
And again, Ali Odi and the Oregon coaches alerted their defenders all week long. Stay in your gaps. Don't leave them because on the cutback, you could make the stop as David Moretti, the middle linebacker from Pleasanton, California, did that time. Brent, I was out to practice the day before yesterday, which is usually a light practice. No real pads except for shoulder pads. They don't wear their their pants and their thigh boards. They were practicing tackling on the day before a game. Well, here is third and short behind that talented offensive line, and I don't believe he got it. I think the Ducks stood tall down there. And Ali Odi has to be delighted, along with head coach Bellotti, with the performance of this defense. Kevin Mitchell and Olshansky stuff the play. Watch this. Inside, too. Watch that off defensive tackle, Zach Frater, right there. Number 54. That pushes it, and those linebackers are standing right there. Great team defense. Now, I think Bellotti was alerting them to watch the fake. They are inside the Oregon 40-yard line, and you, you never know what Coach Barnett is going to come up with. Alvary's back deep. They would need to reach about the 38-yard uh, line for a first down. Mariscal is back in punt formation, however. Delay the game. Five-yard penalty. So they're going to bring it back now for Mariscal, and he's going to attempt to drop this one down inside the 20-yard line. And here are our two outstanding punt returners. Alvarez back there. You can see what he averaged. And Hollowell, of course, led the NCAA this year with an average of 18 yards of return. But Howry, who caught a touchdown pass thrown by Harrington earlier in this game, he's uh, he's every bit as dangerous back there deep. He's standing on the 10-yard line. Scale. Fair catch is the signal inside the 20. Good punt. So there's a penalty flag late. Was there contact made? Uh, the field judge came over. It's going to be the halo call. Right to the right of the punter catching it right here. Watch this. Well, that's easy. It's an easy call. He's within two yards. Be first down, 10. So that'll bring the ball uh, just beyond the 20. I'm out. Troy, I know you got out for a reason. You're worried about getting hurt. But it's a year later. I really think it's time. If you don't get back in, you're going to regret it. Remember what I told you. Think mutual funds. Stay diversified. Any tax implications? Wouldn't it be great if the person you trust most was your broker? Is there a health care fund that looks attractive? At Schwab, our mutual fund advice is always objective, uncomplicated, and not driven by commission. Call 1-800-4-NOLO to find out which fund is right for you. Hey, Hallie Eisenberg, drinking a Pepsi. Actually, this isn't a Pepsi. It's new Pepsi Twist with lemon. And I'm not Hallie Eisenberg. I'm Hallie Berry. Drinking Pepsi Twist. Well, it's not exactly Pepsi Twist. It's Diet Pepsi Twist. And I'm not exactly Hallie Berry. You know. I'm Barry Boswick. Who is Barry Boswick? Like twists? Training Pepsi Twist and regular and diet. A lemon twist on that great Pepsi taste. Hey, sweetie. I got your email. Uh-huh. Where you said you were okay? Uh-huh. So? Was that good okay or okay okay? No, Dad, I'm, you know, uh, okay. Not so okay. Uh-huh. But it's good to hear your voice. Is that supposed to be fun? Introducing a vehicle designed for your adventures in reality. The all-new, more powerful CRV from Honda. Now, try to control your heartbeat. 
the chair coming to ABC. Charles Schwab will make contributions to the scholarship funds of each of the universities represented in the bowl championship series. Here it is Oregon and Colorado in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. We are tied at seven. The Oregon Ducks coming out from their own 20 play fake Harrington goes hard right down the field for the home runs got Parker he's in a foot race they won't catch him touchdown Ducks an 80 yarder oh the home run ball you can't beat it. throw a ball any better than that. He hit Parker right on the dead run. Like a baton race in track. That's how nice that ball was thrown. Siegel, the freshman from Sacramento. And the speedster Parker is causing them a lot of trouble. He has now caught three passes for 117 yards. Play action pass in the small screen right there. That's Joey Harrington, a little bootleg action. Now watch Parker runs right by Strickland. Look at this ball thrown. Like a baton handoff, wasn't it? Wasn't that beautiful? Beautiful. I thought both of his touchdown passes Perfect. were right on the money. And Parker runs a nice route. Comes out 12 yards, a little shake to the outside. There's no free safety. And he just tracks this ball perfectly into his hands. Not going to catch him strictly. Oh, I'll tell you, Joy Harrington, he's what? a good jazz pianist. He's <laughs> playing a merry tune right now, folks. He is at the top of his game. Sammy Parker, the fastest. The wideouts gets free for the bomb. And now the Buffaloes find themselves behind. And that's something Pesavento has not had to do. Play from behind since he's been the starting quarterback. That's why he's completing 63, 64% of his passes. They've been dominating the games. Thirteen, thirteen to go in the half. 21 points scored already. We expected this game could get up into the 60s. Both these teams average over 30 points a game. But I think the main story right now has been the performance of the Oregon defense in filling those gaps. It'll be Sorrell coming out. Short of the 20 yard line. We mentioned that Harrington was an accomplished jazz pianist. Give a listen, folks. Defense jumps in. We got a penalty flag down on the uh, on the game. But you know when you talk to you talk to Joy Harrington about his piano playing ability, I'll tell you why it's unusual, folks, because most talented athletes <laughs> they go out and practice ball. They don't practice the piano, but he said it was all mom. She made me stick in there in the house every <laughs> afternoon, and uh, he's happy for it now, believe me. He spent his time wisely on the on the field too, learning how to throw. This guy is a talented thrower, and he's learned how to manage the game as a quarterback. So the clock mismanagement by Colorado, and now Johnson, and he's got daylight, reaching toward a first down, very close with Keith Lewis making the stop. Oregon is stopping the run pretty well because the depth of the linebackers they're staying back a little deeper than we saw against Texas or Nebraska and they're hitting that ball in practice they were coached over and over again to shuffle 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 don't overrun and then run to the ball they're trying to stop the comeback cutback play and then go make the tackle they're an underdog here on second and short against this offensive line the fullback should lead you right to it they're going to throw out of it. 
and they waste the down. And let's check in with Jack Aru. Jack. And Brent, I am honored to be surrounded by these young men from Tower Ladder Company 13 in New York City. Joe Graziano has been elected the spokesman. What do you think of this game so far, Joe? It's a great game. It's, uh, it's really nice to be here. We're having a great time. I'd like to thank the people of Arizona and uh, the Fiesta Bowl. And I think the only thing that makes it kind of a somber and sad day, Brent, is some of their fallen brethren. We'll get a chance to see that game today. Yes, indeed, Jack. And uh, now they, I believe Oregon stopped them again. I, I cannot believe what they're doing in these short yardage situations. And because they were struggling, Gary, that's why I was surprised that the Buffaloes went pass on second down because they're having some problems. And now that they failed again, they're going to have to punt. Shansky, along with Mallard, makes the stop for the Ducks. I think they were so confident they could pick up that first down on third down that they said, let's try to get a big one. Didn't work. Now, Howery will have a little breathing room, but Mariscal hung it high and allowed his coverage to get down. Boy, Colorado's leaving themselves vulnerable with four men out wide. But they keep it clean. Another good punt. They give him two yards that time and then close in around the 22-yard line forward progress will be marked right there. So we'll take a break. Joey Harrington and Oregon lead it by seven. Time out. very bright introducing a vehicle designed for your adventures in reality the all-new more powerful CRV from Honda so the bunt cake was bad the bunt cake was abysmal but you're missing the point of the story the entire staff has food poisoning leaving packages to be shipped deadlines to be met and one sales manager to do it all just one one you may not have the bunt cake you're the Danish Stay with me. He jumps on FedEx.com. He's shipping. He's tracking. Getting confirmations on his cell phone. His pager, his PDA. He's got a PDA? Everybody's got a PDA. Nevertheless, packages arrive. He triumphs over adversity. I don't have a PDA. Uh, check, please. All vacations are canceled until the network integration is complete? <laughs> All but his, I bet. What is it this time? Jumbles of hardware? Databases built on 10 different platforms in 20 different countries? Does he think that's news to me? Serve it up. Send it my way. Bring it on, buddy, because I'll get it done. And that happy vacationer, the one waving from the beach as your yacht passes by, that man is going to be me. You can accomplish anything, even seamless integration. Fujitsu, the possibilities are infinite. The Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. This ABC Sports exclusive brought to you by Tostitos Scoops, the dip lover's chip. Dig in. Charles Schwab, expert advice that's objective, uncomplicated, and not driven by commission. Honda, a versatile family of cars, minivans, and SUVs. And Aflac, ask about it at work. You don't want to uh, overstate the case for a series being important in the first half of a football game. But, folks, Colorado's defense has to be a little uneasy right now. Harrington's getting the speed man. Number one, Parker loose. He's throwing the ball right on the money. He's in that comfort zone, that zone you don't want a quarterback to settle in if you're Colorado. Now, Morris is his running back. Short drop, fires complete, and I'm telling you right now, folks, Harrington feels that he can complete any pass he wants right now, Gary. 18 plays so far in the football game. 14 of them have been pass plays. You've got a fifth-year senior quarterback who's hot, three-step drops. It's almost impossible for Colorado to get to this guy. He throws it too quickly, and with the half rolls and play-action passes, very tough to get to him. They're going to have to cover people. Second down and six, and you cannot overemphasize as Joey changes it at the line. Colorado switches back out. So they will run Morris. But just take a listen to Coach Mike Bellotti on the input of Joey Harrington into the game plan. 
There's a tremendous amount of exchange of information. You know, he wants to know why, and we're always doing things about, you know, who we're keying, why we're checking certain things. And he's very, he could be a coach easily. He could walk right in and coach right now. And that's what our quarterbacks generally do. But Joey is, is probably special in that regard. You know, they say David Carr of Fresno State will be the first quarterback drafted in the NFL draft. But, folks, you're looking at the second, and who knows? Who knows who's going to wind up? Number one. This is a very impressive performance so far. Third down now. There's that short snap drop. First down. Parker again reaching toward the 40 yard line. They cannot stop Mr. Parker. Let's check in with Jack Aru. Brent, you've talked about the many nicknames that this man, Joey Harrington, has from Joe Heisman to Joe College. But it was at this game, right here on this field, against Arizona State, that Joey Harrington got one name, Captain Comeback bring his team back into a double overtime victory by one point over Arizona State. But his teammates say that the private nickname from that game, the General. Yeah, double overtime, beating the Sun Devils. And they run, but it is well cut off that time. Morris without much room to run in as we take a look at our quarterback comparison here. Well, Gary. Bobby Pesavento needs the running game to come through. They do not have the firepower at wide receiver, nor does Bobby have the experience that Joey Harrington has. Harrington's on fire. He feels the game. The only thing going well for Colorado defensively is they're stopping the run. At least they're keeping them one-dimensional. What if that comes back and haunts them? That's their problem. But what a dimension. You bet. Harrington's already thrown for 183 yards in this game. He's looking more, and he's got more. And tackle is missed. First down across midfield that time. And he uses Jason Willis, the, the junior, again. So Jason Willis has been one of his favorite targets. Terrence Wood, nickelback comes in. Just a quick hitch, trying to pick up half the yards. Second long, they go for a quick hitch. They get a first down. Four tackling often happens in bowl games. They haven't played in four weeks. Right now, the defensive backs for Colorado are intimidated by the quickness of the release for Joey Harrington and the speed of Parker. The only solution is for Colorado to get some pressure on the quarterback. He is standing there in a comfort zone. He does it again. He's got all day. And that was thrown to the backside yeah. of Parker. The Oregon fans wanted interference, but he had cut the post. And it was thrown to the other side. Strickland, a cover man on the backside. But, folks, Harrington's just standing up. His uniform is still ivory white. Well, when you see Parker run this post, Harrington's not quite sure what's in front of Parker. He doesn't know if there's another safety there. So he plays it safe and keeps it down the hash mark. Parker takes it in a different angle, and that was a good no call. The quickness of his release and his feet, you can tell how well he schooled. Second down and 10. The draw play. Morris slips a tackle. First down, out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Sean Tufts getting the running back out of bounds. Well, it's time for our half like trivia question, and this week's question is, who is Oregon's all-time leading tackler? I know some of you. Duck fans up there in the Northwest, you know the answer to that one. Some of the other folks don't. First down at 10, he was a good one. Went on the NFL, played about a decade. They empty the backfield out. That's how well this offensive line is doing. Then they throw Smith the screen pass, and uh, not much doing there. It'll be second down and 10. So with 7.56 to go in the first half, Oregon leading Colorado on the strength of Joey Harrington's right arm. He is 10 of 18 for 198 yards and two touchdowns. That was the first one. Officially, 79 yards to Parker on this one. That ties the record here at the Fiesta Bowl. And now Harrington driving the Ducks again. And if you're calling plays for Oregon, you just say, let's keep putting it up. Just dial one. He's hot. Second down. They'll run the draw play again. Not much doing there. And uh, 
Smith is swallowed up. Surprisingly, that they called the run play. Flew Ellen doing a good job. Well, they hit the big draw play for the first down on the one before. Tried to come back with it, but that time Colorado was right there. The secondary looks intimidated to me. I, I, I don't blame them, really, but they look intimidated. And of the completions that Harrington has, 10 of them have been perfect throws. First and 10 this quarter is brought to you by Monster.com. Third down and 11. Here's Peel right here. Still hasn't gotten ball. Joey looking in zone, Parker again, deflected and out of bounds. Boy, Parker made that grab too, but he was out of bounds. They almost dialed in another one. Roderick Sneed was able to deflect it, but Parker somehow able to grab it, but out of bounds. This was very close. Ball was tipped. I thought he threw it in the coverage. A little tricky on this end zone right here. Two different covers. I think that was a good call. He did not have the ball until his right foot came down. Fourth down and 11 at the Colorado 32-yard line. Watch for the punt. Joey Harrington can punt. Has not punted once in his college career. High snap. He punted in high school. Left foot <laughs> and it's out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Joey, you made me look bad. I said you could punt. Well, but he did that with the left foot. He'll come back with the right foot later. <laughs> You know. The snap so, really messed this thing is. up for him. It was a high snap. Yep. Breaks it down. Well, they said he had a good left hand when he played the <laughs> piano, too. <laughs> Oregon leads in timeout. Hey! If we get hurt, hurt. Whoa. Whoa. Good thing we got that insurance. insurance. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Ask about it at work. You're quitting? <laughs> you are my hero! Ooh. Oh, why Nicoderm CQ? Well, I'm not a superhero. Yes, you are. I never got how these things work. Okay, you just wake up, put one on. Just one. That's what's cool, one last 24 hours. So, what are we waiting for? Helps calm cravings all day long. And the steps? You step down gradually. So you're free. You're not a superhero? You don't have to be. You've got Nicoderm CQ. Come on. What's in here? A lot of cargo room is a good thing. Right? Unbelievable. The Accord from Honda. Intruder in Sector 12. Intruder in Sector 12. Hey! Can your security software protect your whole business? Sector 12 now secure. Not just pieces. Ours can. E-Trust Security Software from Computer Associates. Friday, January 18th. Appointment Television comes home to Fridays. 2020 returns to Fridays, January 18th. Plan accordingly. So Bobby Pesavento. Under center here, down a touchdown. They'll throw on first down. Wide open to his big All-American tight end, the winner of the Mackey Award, and Daniel Graham for 11 yards. Now, we ask you the Aflac trivia question. Who is Oregon's all-time leading tackler? And as you look at Daniel, here's the reason why. It was his father, <laughs> Tom Graham, the all-time leading tackler up at Oregon. Of course, playing for the Denver Broncos, Daniel raised in that area, and he decided to go up the road to Boulder. And Daniel Graham, the winner of the Mackey Award this year, as the best tight end in the country. He just picked up a first down for the Buffaloes. 
Play fake. Pesavino rolling hard. Tosses incomplete. Had a crossing pattern coming that time and elected to throw out of it towards Graham again. Well, the second major story of this game, besides Joey Harrington throwing the ball so accurately and quickly, has been the run stop from that Oregon defense. You know, Brent, coming into this game, they're only giving up 121 yards a game rushing, second best in the Pac-10. Their speed up front and those linebackers, they're dropping. They're standing very deep and they're hitting it more downhill. Much better system against this power. Second and ten, and Brown is the running back. Picked up a couple of yards, and it will be third and long again. And now it's time for our AT&T game summary. Well, you can see the rush yards, and yeah. what a difference, but that's not the story of the game. Well, I said balance was key, but balance and only getting 59 rush yards for Colorado was not expected. What has distorted this game has been the passing and how hot Harrington is. Someone down. I think it is Gerard. Is it Gerard? It is Gerard oh, who my. is down. Oh, my. Well, Saturday, ABC Sports drops the puck on another exciting National Hockey League season. Three great matchups. So we'll have some regional coverage. Gerard being helped up. Hopefully not at all serious. You'll see the Avalanche Red Wings, Ranger, and Penguins, and Capitals Bruins. Action begins Saturday, 5 at 3 Eastern Noon Pacific right here on ABC. Looks like he's favoring that right side, either his knee or his ankle, as he comes off the field right here. Tough football game. Defensive tackle Frieder on the other side, favoring his. Well, here's your third down and eight on the 32-yard line. Graham to the right side of the formation. Pesavento steps up in the pocket, goes McCoy, intercepted by Smith. 45, cut toward midfield. Breaks free, and he is down in Colorado territory at the 48-yard line. Steve Smith, the senior from Rancho Palos Verdes. Bobby Pesavena was out of his comfort zone. He's used to that running game going. He's used to third and short. He tries to go back, nothing there, and then tries to make a big play. He's been avoiding trying to force things because that running game was working so well. Today, it's not. 14-7, the Ducks lead, and they get a short field when we come back. I can't let old Mr. Hetherington take you away, Red. I need to be free again. Go on now! Get out of here! Please, you have to go. With the leather interior and the available Honda DVD entertainment system... I'll never forget you! It's one of the joys of parenthood. Sorry, guys. I was dance class. The Odyssey from Honda. Don't think of your next job as your next job. Think of it as a long-term life enhancement upgrade. Make it great. Make it sing. Report to your future first thing Monday morning and bring your own coffee. The good kind. You know what? People do it every day. And you're a people, so you can do it too. See you Monday. Post your resume today on Monster.com. You the monster. They took everything Gordon Brewer had. The guerrillas call it collateral damage. Except his rage. The assassin is back in Colombia. But you cannot take the law into your own hands. Thanks for your advice. If it's a war they want. Don't even look at those guys unless you can kill them. They picked the wrong guy. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Collateral damage. Rated R. Starts February 8th at a theater near you. New for 2002. 0 to 60 in 5.6. High performance lateral slashes. Twin 20 millimeter assault cannons. And the popular passenger ejection system. All standard equipment on the Bond Picture Show premieres Saturday, January 26th. Did we mention the supplemental restraint system? You're watching the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl on ABC Sports.
Welcome back to the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Colorado's defense under fire again. Joey Harrington camping out in the pocket. And even when he sprints to the right, he has not been touched except on the first series in this game. Remember that one lineman got him, threw him down late? Hasn't been close to being sacked yet and whacked only a couple of times. So now, first and ten, and the pitch man is wide open. Smith crosses the 45-yard line with Johnson making the... One uh, of the reasons stop. Oregon has given up less sacks than anyone in the Pac-10 the last three years is because of the diversity of their pass offense. Three-step, five-step, an offensive line that believes in the quarterback and a system that keeps you off the passes. Adams, Schmidt, Weaver, Forrester, Chambers. Well, the big fellas up front, and they're doing the job right now for Harrington, who's thrown for almost 200 yards. The Colorado defense must have a stop. 427. Time to Parker. First down. Had him right on the first down marker. And uh, what's the situation with Gerard, Jack? Well, Brent, believe it or not, Andre had his kneecap pop out. They popped it back in. They retaped his knee. He is ready to go back in. That's one tough offensive lineman. Better believe it. Anticipate him being one of the first offensive linemen selected in the NFL draft. Fell out of Texas. Puts his game face on. First down and 10 for Harrington and the Ducks. At the Colorado 36-yard line, play fake, sprint right, got time, goes outside, Alry, incomplete. Well, Thursday night, the granddaddy of them all, the undefeated Hurricanes of Miami. He's Heisman Trophy winner Eric Crouch at number two Nebraska for the national championship. The Rose Bowl presented by AT&T, Thursday live at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ABC, home of the Bowl Championship Series. And, of course, the winner of this game will be pulling hard for Mr. Crouch and the Corn Huskers, they would like to wind up with a piece of the national championship. Kind of interesting, the Associated Press Trophy arrived here in the Phoenix area, and uh, several of the players posed for pictures with it, and uh, good motivation. It's second down and 10 for Harrington and the Ducks. And back with the running play, and Smith to the 21-yard line, a first down. So just as Colorado starts to look past the Ducks decide, let's come back with a run, and that was for 15 yards. A little yards. bit of their own medicine here. Counter play to the backside. Counter Trey Ontario Smith runs with passion. This is what scouting report on this guy. Perimeter guy, great lateral movement. It can make people miss. You saw it all right there. Vince Okru, co-defensive coordinator with Tom McMahon, who is upstairs, and uh, you can see the frown. Thing is not going well. First down and ten. Here's Harrington again. He's going to throw back to the tight end. So for the first time today, Peel catches the ball and a first down at the ten-yard line. And uh, Tom McMahon, the other defensive coordinator for the Buffaloes, he is upstairs. Here's a young man who has battled and overcome cancer. He played wide receiver up at the University of Montana when they won their first pair of Division I AA games for the Grizzlies in Missoula. And congratulations to Coach Joe Glenn and the entire Montana team up there. They won it again this year, beating Furman in Chattanooga, and they look very efficient. Division I AA has a tournament. The handoff now to Smith. Smith cuts down at the six-yard line. Second down. Roger Coming up Steve on the made the tackle there. Excuse me, Brent. Coming up on the Coors Light halftime report, John Saunders and Terry Bowden will bring you scores and highlights of the early New Year's Day Bowls. John and Terry will preview the Rose Bowl presented by AT&T. All this and more on the Coors Light halftime show from Anaheim, California. The reason I wanted to point it out is another secondary guy making a tackle on the run game. So off balance is Colorado with this quick passing game. A little bit of different roll right, roll left, but look at how... Harrington is attacking the field. He's throwing everywhere. Every box is filled deep. I love that they're throwing deep. That loosens them up, puts a scare, but look at those quick passes and how well he's distributing the ball around the field. This is second down. 
Peel is flexed off the line to the left. There's that shovel pass. Touchdown, Oregon. Walking in is the running back, Ontario Smith, who transferred to Eugene from Tennessee. So the interception thrown by Pesavento results in Oregon's third touchdown of the first half. We've seen this a lot in college football. Spread out real wide and do the little shovel pass. Give this one to Jeff Tedford, offensive coordinator. Well designed. He knew he was coming to it in, once he got inside the 10 yard line. Jeff Tedford's last game at Oregon. He'll go to California as their oh. next head coach. Jared Siegel adds the extra point. But it was this interception, and this is why they put the corners on an island at Oregon. They are able to get the job done. Watch number six. Against McCoy, underthrown a bit. Makes the pick. Oregon working with a short field. The shovel pass. And after the defender had committed, Smith walked into the end zone. The Ducks are up by 14. Timeout. <laughs> you can dunk, but you can't dip. Your dip is gone, baby. What are you talking about? No dip. Introducing new Tostito Scoops. Let me tell you something, Bill. I put the hip in shit. Watch this. With the bite-sized, bowl-shaped design for the perfect dip every time. New Tostito Scoops. Whoa. The dip lover's chip. <laughs> this is my house. Yes, it is. No, this is my house. You guys got to go. <laughs> also great with new Queso Supreme Dip. Yo. Two six packs in a big bag of ice to end you. It's a bite, but the brew tastes a nice back to the bag. Stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge. A la cool beverage, a la cool beverage, a la cool beverage, uh-huh. I'm kind of thirsty. A la cool beverage, a Partner. I call for backup, I put out an APB. Oh, and later, let's talk about tax smart strategies for rolling over your 401k. Wouldn't it be great if the person you trust most was your broker? That's all it takes. At Schwab, when we help you with the details of your 401k rollover, you get advice that's objective, uncomplicated, and not driven by commission. To roll over your 401k, call 1-800-4-SCHWAB. That way, you'll avoid future tax penalties. If we're quiet, if we listen, we can hear houses breathe. Somebody help me! Stephen King's Rose Red, January 27th at 9, 8 central on ABC. Viewer discretion advised. Go, boss! Well, this tailgate party at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, brought to you by... Tostitos in the happiest of New Year's. Go out to our servicemen and women at our bases in this country and also overseas as we begin the New Year and wish them all nothing but the best. Here it is, Oregon leading Colorado, 21 to 7. And I guess we have answered the question: Can you maintain that level that Colorado showed us against Nebraska and Texas? With almost a month off, it is so hard to stay at that peak level. Kickoff is fielded at the six by Sorrell. Sorrell cuts back, battles his way to the 25-yard line. But again, a reminder that tomorrow our bowl fest continues. It'll be Florida. Rex Grossman will have to come off the bench in that one. He's been sat down for breaking curfew up against the amazing Maryland Terrapin. What a job. Coach Friedgen did with Maryland in the uh, ACC. Colorado must be very careful here. They're not put together to run a two-minute drill. Remember, backup quarterback Bobby Pesavano is not the start of the beginning of the year. Craig Oaks was. This is not his game. He wants to set the screen, which he does to Cortland Johnson, and this is a good call. Yes. Out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Let the rush close in. That's the second time that these two have hooked up on a good-looking screenplay and uh, they make it work again so Pesimeno is uh, well he's five of 12 in this game but he has thrown that one interception 
And he would like to get something back. He would like to get something going here before the halftime intermission. Down by two touchdowns right now. Esavino, who transferred from Miami of Ohio to a junior college, then enrolled at Colorado. This is Hollowell in motion behind him. He'll wind up as a slot man to the left. Esavino has time, and it's dropped by Graham. Sort of thrown a little bit behind him, but still, I think the big fella probably feels that he should have made that catch at midfield. Tight end over the middle of the field. Oregon at all times knows where this playmaker is. You have a linebacker on him. You have the safety on him right there, Webster. When I watched practice, they did not, Brent, make one mental mistake when they were going against all the different formations at Colorado shows. This team was very focused on defense, ready to handle the different formations from Colorado. Second down and 10. to throw and misfires and Graham was double covered in the middle of the field and uh, he couldn't quite squeeze it into him so he overthrew him. yeah they are ready for Graham I'll tell you he's right here left side coming across you're gonna cross somebody across the other way this time slant they're trying to get the ball to Daniel Graham but you can see pretty crowded nowhere to really throw the ball safety right there in the middle just hoping Pezzavento will throw him the ball he had to throw it high Lucky, lucky he got away with that one. Hollowell in. He'll go out to the left along with wide receiver Matt Brunson. McCoy is down to the right. Third down. And now it is fourth down, and Colorado will have to punt it away, and they're going to give Harrington one last crack. There'll be time on the clock, too. So not a good series for Colorado. And Joey says, let's go. This is what veteran quarterbacks wait for, the closing minutes of the half in the game. They got their passing game working. They know they can strike downfield with the speed receiver. Mariskell, who has punted well in this game. Aury will attempt to give the Ducks field position here at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. to be as the cover man Moore number seven came off the block well Gary well give credit to the offensive line but also to the game plan different types of drops different types of passes a three-step a half roll a throwback and then when you get inside a little trickery right here the shovel pass Colorado doesn't know if they're coming or going right now they've got a hot quarterback delivering the ball Morris Checks in as the tailback. 35! 35! They continue to shuttle their two running backs. No and prior to the snap play was stopped. And we have not had no. many penalties no. in this game. Three against Colorado and only uh, one against the Ducks. And, of course, this one will go against them. And again, a Southeastern Conference Before the crew. ball was snapped, movement by the offensive line. Five yards, still first down. Well, aerial coverage of today's game is provided by Tostitos. The Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. And here on this field next year, a year from now, they will play the national championship game. They played one. That means that they will have come full circle with the four bowls that are involved. Tennessee won a championship here. In fact, it was the first BCS title game. They beat Florida State. Peerless Price was the offensive player of that game. One of his records has been tied here today. Draw play. Morris made the most of it, didn't he? Out to the 29-yard line. You've really got to like the way Oregon has played here in the first half. Very well coached. They have followed their game plan to the letter. Bellotti, who has become the most successful program coach in the Pac-10 over the last decade, putting the show on the road. The facilities have been upgraded up in Eugene. They trade off the tradition that Graham and Dan Fouts and all the rest of those great players started up there and now they're winning games. Here's a handoff to the 30 yard line and that was Morris again stopped by Michael Lewis. 
Oregon's playing it conservatively, 21 to seven. They don't want to make a key mistake and get the Buffaloes back in the game with a cheapie. Colorado, I think, is going to take, did they take the timeouts? I think they're going to force them to take a timeout and have to punt the ball if they don't pick it up. You know me, Gary, I'd go for the juggler. I know, <laughs> I, I know. Might get your I'd own start. juggler, though, That's while true. you're trying to do that. That's true. <laughs> Let's go down to Jackaroo, Jack. Hey, Brent, I want to take you to page 36 of the Oregon Football Guide. You want to meet Joey Harrington? Well, inside, they tell you all sorts of things that you don't know about him. Do you know that he can't live without his feather bed? Or maybe that his favorite actor and actress are De Niro and Sandra Bullock. And the most important one when traveling, one thing he has to have, just like me. But when he said one thing people don't know, I'm a dork. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll take that dork on my team any day. You got that right, my friend. So, uh, you know, he plays the piano well. We gave you a, a taste of that. And uh, I asked him why he stuck with the piano when he was young. That's mom. Uh, I, I, of course, wanted to go play ball with the guys out in the street. Rep, but, you know, we lived a, a half a block away from a, a big playground. But, you know, mom said, you know, just play 15 minutes. You know, get 15 minutes of practice in before you go play. And, and it's paid off. Bill Evans one of his favorite all-time piano players and of course he spent some time Evans did with Miles Davis Cannonball Adderley you know, some great sounds came out of that piano and uh, Arrington's got a great act to follow third down now for the Oregon quarterback Howry's the motion receiver roll hard to the right on the pocket points fires underneath first down Parker I mean this quarterback is on fire ladies and gentlemen he's as accurate and as confident as any college quarterback I've seen in a long time. And this time, he had a tremendous amount of time to throw the ball. The half rolls are really working. Look at all that time. And he moves both of his feet together as he shuffles up in the pocket. Perfect technique. 45 seconds left here in the half. Harrington comes back to the left. And wide open to Jason Willis that time. So Harrington has thrown for 230 three yards and three touchdowns in this game. Joey Harrington is the story of the first half. He certainly has been the most valuable offensive player here at Sun Devil Stadium on a beautiful New Year's afternoon. The Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, of course, the winner. Hopes that Nebraska can win the granddaddy Thursday night. Between the Nebraska will be taking on favored Miami in that game. You know, everybody had a say as to who was the number two team. And, of course, uh, the humans opted for, for Oregon, and the computers went for Nebraska. And uh, so when we were up in Nevada, I dropped by a couple of the odds makers, and I said, who would be number two in your power ratings? I'm kind of curious. Would Miami be favored over everybody? They said, yes, they would. But I said, well, what would be the shortest spread? And they said, Florida. They said, we would make Miami only a four-point favorite over the Gators. The last 29 games, you can see the three most effective programs in the top two will be meeting. But look who is number three. You would never think. <laughs> and why not? Smart. It's going to come into some money pretty soon. You know, interestingly, for Joey Harrington in Oregon, three out of the last four games, he passed for less than 200 yards. He's got over 239. He's at 239 in the first half. He loves to throw on this field, doesn't he? Yep. Got time again. Oh, he throws his first pick to the 30-yard line. He overthrew his receiver. Robinson picks it off. And that will give the Buffaloes, if nothing else, a lift going into the locker room. They've still got 25 seconds, but they can certainly build off of that. And this is his first pick at 141 passes, his personal long streak as he just led the receiver too much, threw it right to the safety. Joey got a little greedy that time, but it wasn't as much as a disaster if it happened on his own 20 yard line. And guess who made this time? Number three got over there. Three touchdowns and one interception and unhappy with that throw because he overthrew his intended target. That's the first time he has really, I mean really misfired in this game. First down now from Pesavento. 25 seconds to go, short drop, throw slant, incomplete. No penalty flag. Kevin Mitchell, 17 tackles he had against Oregon State in the game that got him here, got his team here, that little middle linebacker, pound for pound. Mike Bellotti said he might be the toughest football player in America. 
He was right on that slant. You don't want to meet that guy when you're running a slant, the middle linebacker. Second down and 10. Acevedo steps away. Throws it incomplete. Johnson, the intended receiver, but Pesavino did a good job of avoiding the sack that time. Clock is stopped with 16 seconds to go, and it's third down. And it was Kevin Mitchell again. One time he's in coverage. Here he comes. Watch him come right in and force Pesavino to throw a bad ball. Comes in middle linebacker, comes on a stunt. Nobody takes him and forces Bobby up in the pocket and throw an errant pass. Mitchell on pass coverage. Mitchell on the rush. Four receivers off the line. He sets that screen pass again. Cut back by Johnson. 40, penalty flag. It's to the 27, but a penalty flag flies as Lewis makes a stop for the Ducks with seven seconds showing on the clock. When you get those offensive linemen, and this is going to go long as they run the screen out this way, out in space, they usually grab someone. It's usually one of those holdings or pushes, shoving the back. I mean, you can see a grab it right there. That's what was called. It was on Gerard, number 65, coming out. So this one is coming holding, back. Holding against the offense during the run. 10-yard penalty for the spot of the foul. Colorado has called her second time out. Well, Gary Barnett has played in late in the afternoon on New Year's Day once before. And that, of course, is when he took Northwestern out to the Rose Bowl, which normally occupies this time slot. He played the University of Southern California, and he was beaten that day in a good game as the Wildcats made a late run on the Trojans. That was the miracle year for Northwestern. Here it has been the turnaround that Barnett and the Colorado team has performed up in Boulder this year. After losing big to Texas and earlier to Fresno State, they rolled down the stretch, beating up on Nebraska at home with 62 points, and went down to Irving, Texas at Texas Stadium and won the Big 12 championship against the Texas Longhorns. But uh, here, he finds himself down by two touchdowns, taking off the headset. He'll probably just run out the first half and go on in 21-7 down. Jack Aroot. Well, Brent, we've talked a lot about the Colorado Buffalo's offensive line. They were a lot heavier and a lot more body fat when they first showed up. But Sean Watson decided to put them all on a diet with different strength and conditioning. And now the, Carol the Colorado line, just 304 pounds. One of the lightest in the Big 12. You know, when somebody says just 304 to me, Jack, I always, I always say, oh, oh, really? 21-7. Back in the gun, Pesavino. Going to take one last crack. Drop it off to McCoy underneath as the seconds run out on the first half. Joey Harrington in Oregon will take a 21-7 lead on into the locker room. And Harrington rallying the fans as we check in with Jack Aru, Jack.